Good morning, St. Mark family and friends. On behalf of Pastor P, we want to welcome you to our online worship experience. We are so glad that you have tuned in today. We hope that as you worship with us online, something is said or done that will impact and enrich your life. Good morning, St. Mark family. Listen, Pastor John here, and we have one promise here at St. Mark. You all know it. You grow here. And that's not just a spiritual reality here at St. Mark. No, we grow in terms of our membership here at St. Mark. And we've been doing that throughout the pandemic. So today I'm excited to announce that we have 13 new folks that we're extending the virtual right hand of fellowship to. So how about you do this for me? Down in the chat, just drop a comment, drop a welcome to our family. Let them know that we're loving on them today as we welcome them via the virtual right hand of fellowship. I got two folks that I'm gonna let introduce themselves and then in just a few minutes, I'm gonna introduce the other 11 folks so we can love on them properly as they join our fellowship. Hello, my name is Rick Anderson and I am honored to be a part of the St. Mark family. Good morning, my name is Demetrius James and I'm honored to be a part of the St. Mark family. Also joining our fellowship today are Angela Shirey, Olive Shirey, Asia Amos, Elena Burns, Susan Hunter Turner, Takesha Irving, Janice McDonald, Courtney Walls, Alandria White, Lee Brown, and Macon Thomas. These 13 folks, we're looking forward to seeing them in the fall when we return, but today we just wanted to show them a special measure of love from the St. Mark family. So welcome to the family and welcome to St. Mark, where we all know that you will grow here. This morning, we are celebrating 129 years as a ministry and what an amazing testimony we have. God continues to prosper us as we remain steadfast in our calling to make and grow followers of Jesus Christ. Even through this past year's pandemic, God has been faithful to us as a ministry. Our faith has been stretched and we are already seeing the benefits of trusting him through it all. As a beacon of hope in our community, we know how important it is to provide for the basic physical and spiritual needs of our members and neighbors. Your generous contributions during the pandemic have been nothing but amazing and have allowed us to continue to do ministry at a high level despite the limitations of physical distancing. Under the guidelines of our Health Advisory Board, we have successfully avoided a major outbreak through our congregation from the coronavirus. Based on our recent surveys, just over 14% of our church at some point was infected by the virus. By holding virtual services, we significantly reduced our overall church infection and morbidity rates from the virus. We are grateful for their wisdom and advice over this past year. They strongly continue to encourage everyone to get the vaccine to help control the spread of the virus and its variants. We helped 300 of our senior saints, ages 70 and older, get scheduled for and receive their COVID vaccines as soon as it was available to them. We opened our facilities to host several COVID vaccine clinics, providing more than 2,100 shots in arms. We partnered with the CADC to provide major food distributions for more than 1,300 people just in the last six months. We also partnered with Samaritan's Feet to provide more than 200 pairs of shoes and care kits for the elderly in the Meals on Wheels program. As a recipient of a major donation from the Little Rock School District and Superintendent Michael Poor, we were able to bless hundreds of students and families with food and sanitary supplies during these tough times. Our discipleship teams has provided several ways to continue growing spiritually through virtual Sunday school classes, Money Matter sessions, and Roddy E. Collins classes. In many cases, the virtual offerings have proved more effective for those focusing on their Christian growth. We have continued to provide ways for our youth to grow through monthly online lessons for Kingdom Kids, virtual worship opportunities for our rhythm teens, and small group offerings from both teams. Kingdom Kids gathered at War Memorial Park recently to celebrate the end of small group semester. And Pastor Mona kicked off this summer reading program by handing out reading buddies for the children to read their favorite Bible verses to at home over the summer. 
Pastor Sipo celebrated the graduating seniors with pop-up visits to their homes, presenting them with grad packs to help them start their next chapter off well. He also remains in touch with college students to encourage them while away from home. We awarded $37,000 in scholarships through the St. Mark Scholarship Program in May, and more to come through our private donor scholarships next Sunday. And our partners, the Tendaji CDC, opened its doors for in-person summer camp for 100 students this past week. The eight-week camp will help them get back up to speed academically, emotionally, and socially as they prepare for the upcoming school year. Most of all, we are elated to be making plans to phase back to in-person worship starting the fifth Sunday in August. Be sure to save the dates, August 27th through the 29th, and look for more details to come as we get ready for The Return, the soundtrack for relaunching worship. Our bonus track, Back Together Again. St. Mark, we have a lot to celebrate, and all glory belongs to God for the great things he continues to do in and through our congregation. What a mighty God we serve. Happy anniversary. Now, let us lift up those who have lost loved ones. This week, please remember in prayer the following families. David and Minister Joe Courtney and the passing of her cousin, Valerie Bunn. Joyce Lovelace and the passing of her cousin, Arthur Ray Brown. If you are having a difficult time coping with stress, anxiety, loss, or fear, we encourage you to text TALK to 501 299-9009. You will receive a link to a short form to better help us connect you to someone who can help you walk through this season. You can also find the information at smart.org or in the St. Mark LR app. Just click the mental health resources button for details. St. Mark family and friends, we always want to stay connected with you, and there are several ways you can help. If you want to know more about being part of the St. Mark family, connect with me, Pastor John Richards. Looking for ways to exercise your spiritual gifts and ministry? Contact me, Pastor Woods, to find your best fit. If you are hospitalized or have lost a loved one, be sure to text VISIT to 501-299-9009 to connect with me, Pastor Shirley. Connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at St. Mark LR. If you know someone who doesn't have internet access, give them our call-in number to listen to services live. 1-888-872-9708. You can also download the St. Mark Baptist Church LR app on your smart device. Be sure to allow push notifications so that you can stay up to date with the news from the church. And don't forget to push. When you share your resources, we are able to bless children with food supplies and hygiene kits to take home from school on weekends. Whatever amount you choose to give, when you share, it benefits others and brings glory to God. Be sure to keep practicing healthy habits so we can get back to in-person fellowship soon. Continue to wear your mask, wash your hands, Cough or sneeze into your elbow or a tissue. Avoid touching your face. Clean regularly, avoid large crowds, and seek medical attention if you experience any symptoms associated with the flu or COVID-19. Be protected, stay safe, and be healthy. For more information about all the great things going on at St. Mark, visit our website, smark.org. St. Mark Baptist Church, you grow here. We will go. Together.